Hey guys, uh, Pajama Mama here. I have this Power XL Stuff Waffle Maker that I just unboxed and I've never used it. Um, it was originally about 50 bucks, but I was in Marshall's the other day. I found it for um, $24.99, so I went out and grabbed it. And this is what it comes in the box. It comes with this uh, machine, it comes with a thank you card, um, a owner's manual, and then a recipe guide and it has some recipes in there um i'm going to use it today for you guys just kind of demonstrate it a little bit let me show you what it looks like on the inside okay it says power xl has a, a green and red uh, button and then on this side it has two red buttons and it's pretty deep it's a small waffle but it's pretty deep that's so you can stuff it but before we I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on the other side so it can be heating up and then I'm going to um, actually cook some chicken because I'm gonna make some chicken and waffles today okay guys over here in this pan right here I have put um, just a little bit of avocado oil probably about uh, about two three tablespoons and then right here this is just some seasoned flour and I'm not going to put a lot of seasoning in it because it's going to be in the waffle. So, and this flour has actually enough. It has enough season. I just want a little bit of extra. So that's just some of my pajama mama spice. I'm going to put a little bit of um, smoked paprika and some black pepper. And then I'm going to give that a whisk. And then I have some um, chicken breast over here that I have kind of flattened out a little bit with a meat tenderizer because we have to fit it into the waffle okay I have my um, oil heating heating on to medium and then I also have the um what do you call it the waffleizer over there heating up so I'm just gonna lightly dust this with flour We just want a really, not a thick coating on there. So I'm not dipping it in any eggs or anything because I just want a light dusting because we're going to put it in that uh, that waffleizer. So let me just cook those probably about four minutes, four to five minutes on each side. I'll let you know exactly how much it is when I come back. Okay guys, the chicken is done. I'm gonna take these last couple of pieces out of here. And then I'm gonna get you over to the uh, waffle machine so we can start cooking the waffle. I'll turn this off. Okay guys, this is heated up. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat this up. It's gonna, um, it's gonna be red. And then when it's ready, it's gonna turn green. Okay. And it's supposed to be nonstick. But I err on the caution, so I just sprayed a little bit. I'm going to spray a little bit more. And then you're going to put, let me get the uh, waffle mix. Okay, guys, I got some waffle mix. And you can use, like, your Aunt your Mama, Bisquick, whatever. So you're just going to put about a half a cup on the bottom of this. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the chicken. Or whatever filling you like. But I'm going to do chicken. Okay. Try to get it the size. Put that right there. They use some chicken strips. I'm not going to use chicken strips. And then you're going to put. They said fill it three fourths full. Not all the way to the rim. Because it can leak. Well, that's kind of full, but we're going to see. Now, I think I put a little bit too much, but I had a big old piece of chicken, so I'm going to close that. And then you're going to latch this. Let's see, can you guys see that? You're going to latch that close, right? Then, you, as soon as you do that, you're going to grab it, and then you're going to turn it over. And you're going to cook it from five to seven minutes. Okay, guys, I probably should have checked it, but I didn't. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn it back over. 
but it I let it go the whole seven minutes oh, so that's what it looks like I am going to see if it comes out oh it comes out for the so that's what this side looks like it's a pretty good looking waffle so I'm gonna put another one down but then I'm gonna open this one up for you guys so you can see Okay, guys, I put a little bit of butter on there and it's already melted. And I heated up some maple syrup. I'm just going to pour that all over that. And let's get to tasting. First, I'm going to cut it in half so you guys can see what it looks like. Cut in half. So that's what the... You guys see that? Look at that chicken. So let's give it a taste. With the chicken and the, the maple syrup. And the waffle. So... It's crispy on the outside, and you know, it's a thick waffle. That is a thick waffle. So it's like a sweet and salty, like chicken waffles are supposed to be. It's pretty good. So i probably going to try it again with like some bacon or some sausage in there, but it's a thumbs up. Oh, that's letting me know that other waffle is done. So... I didn't pay the $50 that they're going for. I think they're $50. They might be down to um, $40. But I did pay $24.99 at Marshall's. So, you know, check at, if you want to try this, check at Marshall's. Um, Home Goods usually have the same thing and TJ Maxx. But pretty good. I thought it was going to be kind of soggy, but it's not soggy. And the uh, chicken is still juicy. All right, you guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day.